Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC Beauty Retouching Tutorial. In today's Beauty Retouching Tutorial, we'll be using, once again, the photography work of John Covington. You can find his work at www.jcov.net. In this Beauty Retouching Tutorial, we're actually going to be working on color replacement. Um, traditionally, I like to use color replacement sometimes when working non-destructively to change the color of lips, hair, um, you know, makeup, things like that. But in this case, we'll be taking it to an extreme. We'll be actually changing the color of the outfit of our model. In this case, this is um, a hoodie jacket, but you could certainly do this with a dress, a top, pants, whatever you'd like in your um, photography, and it'll just add a whole different dimension to it. You can get different looks out of it. Um, you know, this works especially well um, in advertising. So I want to show you guys how to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the original photography real quick. which It's a great image in and of itself, and it didn't need a whole lot in the retouching category, um, even for beauty. Um, I just did some adjustment layers to deal with um, you know, things I didn't like in terms of the lighting, um, obviously dodge and burn. Um, you know, I did our lips uh, retouching that you can see in that other tutorial video. And um, you know, it was a great photograph, but I think the final image um, is considerably better and the beauty of this no pun intended is that since it's non-destructive we can actually change the color of this outfit to more or less anything that we would want um, you know we can do that purple and I actually really like how that looks I don't know why I picked orange when I could have had this but you know whatever and I think it goes better with their makeup um, and we can adjust it we can make it pop with more saturation we can um, pull it back if we don't want it to pop that much but in a clothing advert you'd want it to pop as much as possible while still looking natural you know we can adjust different values you know light dark here and it's all non-destructive we're able to do that with the sliders we can take it away we you know if we don't want it um, you can see here that yes I did a bunch of adjustment layers but aside from um, you know what I did in terms of adding this different color with the hue and saturation mask that I made as an adjustment layer, you know, there's not an overwhelming amount of stuff that I did with those other layers that, you know, affect the clothing as much as they affect just the rest of the photo and making it nicer. Um, so we're not going to focus on the adjustment layer so much as this adjustment hue and saturation layer. So I'm going to um, focus on that and I'll show you how I made the selection because that's what's important here. Now, most people um, who do masking uh, in Photoshop, a lot of them like to do it the old-fashioned way with the pen tool. And that's not necessarily wrong for any reason. There are advantages and disadvantages to doing it that way. In this case, we could use the pen tool and it would make sense because this is a lot of hard edges and we could do that pretty effectively and get um, you know, a very precise selection, but it would take a lot of time. Now those of you who are either doing um, freelance retouching and you're not doing massive batch retouches for like, you know, a hundred photos or anything like that, or if you're not doing advertising with super tight deadlines, go ahead and use the pen tool if you're doing more either art or you're doing this as a hobby or you have no strict deadline attached to it. However, for those of you who need to work for those of you who need to work fast, for those of you who have a need for speed when being in Photoshop, uh, there are two ways that I would do this. You can either use the uh, quick selection tool as I've done in other tutorials and that will work out very well for you but the faster overall way when you have a simpler image like this that's one color um, and this works very well for like you know um, fashion adverts and clothing is you can use select color range hold down shift with the eyedropper select your color range and it completely makes this mask of everything you really quote unquote need for this selection you can hold shift to get things that you want alt to take out things you don't um, etc so you can do that and you can just build up this mask that you need and if you don't have everything you need it's okay because once you do this you can go back with the quick selection tool and you can kind of combine these things and I actually need to do that on a different layer
and you could go ahead and you can clean up anything that you need to. You can say, okay, I actually need this, so I'll just go ahead and select it. Or you can say, oh, I don't need it with Alt, and you can deselect it, um, you know, whatever. You know, and you can invert your selection. You can do whatever you need. You can clean things up with Refine Edge. Just whatever you need to do to make the selection that you need. And anything that's wrong with this selection, you can fix it with the brush tool once you've created your mask. So that's the other cool thing here. So we'll just go ahead and we'll clean this up just a little bit. Get rid of the things we don't need. All right, and I think that's close enough. And if it's not, we'll deal with it in our uh, mask. Now, in this case, um, it got the opposite of what I wanted because uh, I didn't hold down Alt, but you can just hold um, Control I or Option. Uh, sorry, you can hold down Control I or um, Command I on the Mac on this mask, and it'll do what you need. So we'll select our um, adjustment layer here now that we've made it. And we can see that by using the slider, we can go ahead and we can create that um, orange that we had for the hoodie, or even this really nice um, purple that I actually really like here. Um, and anything that's wrong with this, we can just go ahead and we can take our brush tools and we can quote unquote fix. You know, and we just paint, um, as you remember from our masking tutorials, uh, white reveals and paints in what we want, black conceals it, gets rid of it. Uh, so we can just do that, and we can clean up, take away anything that we would need. And then we can obviously go back with other adjustment layers and work out any color balancing issues we have for you know lighter dark spots that we don't want, things that um, are still standing out from the other color washes. And you can just do this as you need, and you can change the color of the clothing in your model dramatically and this doesn't just work on clothing you can do this with um, you know hair makeup um, lips you know all of this works more or less the same um, you know regardless and you're not beholden to just using you know one color um, you can you know change this however you feel you need to you don't even have to dramatically change the color even if you just want to use it to um, get your colors to pop a little more um, from the original, you know, that's fine and that'll work too. You can, um, you know, adjust the saturation as you need it if you feel like, okay, I don't need it to pop quite as much. Although in, um, you know, fashion or adverts, you'd really want the colors to be as vibrant as possible. You can adjust the lights and darks, just depending on what the lighting in the overall image is, you know, and this all works out really well. And you can use, um, you know, colorize if you want. In this case, I prefer not to. Um, you can adjust things with the blend mode if you feel that that's necessary to kind of um, get it to work a little better. And just whatever you feel is going to create a, the look that you want or something more natural or something just different. And that's the beauty of this is it just gives you so many options when you, um, you know, when you do this. And there's just different directions you can take this and you can do whatever you need to and it's all non-destructive. You know, um, that's the really um, clever part about this tool is because it's non-destructive you're not stuck with it one way or the other. You can make it whatever you want. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to the other videos in the series. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next Photoshop CC tutorial. Thanks for watching.